Yo, what's going on guys? Today we have another surprise special draw ticket where you, the lucky player, gets to pay grand blue money to pick up your waifu. Unless he limited, then you asked out, bruh. You're gonna have to go and uh cough up that nine hundred dollar for your three hundred spark. But for everyone who's lucky enough to have their not limited waifu in the gotcha, you can now pick her up at a very, very low, 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 low cost. Now, this is my third variant on doing this, I believe my third time. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of breeze through it. I will be talking over, like, I won't go in depth on units I've already talked about. Like, not a ton has changed since the uh, first time me doing this in like April, I believe. So you do have those videos to look at as well if you want a more in-depth explanation but i'm tired i'm tired these weapon drops are killing me <laughs> you don't understand <laughs> sleep is like almost non-existent so let's go through the characters here that i feel are worthy enough to get a surprise ticket now i will always mention if your waifu is a unit that you want a surprise ticket no matter how garbage she may be or how great they may be go for it you know it's your waifu it's gonna or your husbando you know hey maybe you like zeta right maybe zeta your reason for playing the game well surprise ticket that darn zeta okay go and surprise ticket her don't be don't be mad if somebody tells you oh man you surprise ticket zeta who cares what they think <laughs> get the character you like you know so Never forget that. Your enjoyment of the game always to be your number one priority. But now, for the meta plebs, like who want to be Mr. Big Number, you know, MVP of the raid, options, right? Now, the first option we'll be looking at is the Lancelot and Vayne. Wow, I don't think I ever mentioned them before. Now, it has come to people like that these characters are actually extremely strong. <laughs> when it comes to Ogi one turn setups. They are enablers for an easy one turn setup for fire. And we do have the fire guild wars coming up today. Well, not today, but you know, coming up next. So these are a strong pick. Their Ogi allows them to activate their skill one at the end of the Ogi, which does about 900 K is in terms of damage. So you have a unit that does, let's say about 3.8 million Ogi, boom, then hit another 900K at the end of their Ogi. Not only that, they do apply debuffs as well. Very strong one turn Ogi unit. If you are struggling to get your EX plus to up to snuff, this is a definitely good unit to invest in if you wanna make your one turn EX plus kill a little bit easier uh let's check what else in fire options we have athena i've spoke about athena a million times great unit i've talked about her like three times already so i got i don't gotta mention it but in case you don't have athena still oh always a strong unit good in a, a plenty of content not the highest damage dealer but she'll protect you and she'll look at you very bad so very cute cute cute, cute girl cute girl um, other than that, I think that's about it for fire. I don't think anyone is worth a surprise to get outside of those two. I know you're probably like, oh man, but you know, I want to run Ultima Fire Fist and go ahead, take it Graya. But do I believe she's like a top tier ticket unit? Nope. No, I do not. So we will now be looking at water. Now water, all tier is still a solid pick. Um, I don't think he's like that important, but he was very good towards GW. Though one thing I will mention is that GW has now gone and passed. So just know if you're surprise ticketing for water, probably not the best time as we have fire GW coming up. But hey, he's still a solid pick in 2019. Attack up, water attack up, defense down, very strong, strong unit and crit, and charge bar. Charge bar in the Ogi meta, still good, still good. Other than that, 
I believe I mentioned Lancelot in a previous video as his um, rebalance was very strong. Still a really good unit and Fa. Wait, what? What? Is his body gone? <laughs> Let me not get distracted. Let me focus on the video. But I, is that me? It, it, okay. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> still a strong unit. Great for Fa. Ultimate Bahamut. Uh, he's okay at normal raids, but what he really signs is like the harder content where, you know, normal defense down is not your option. He's a very strong unit and harder content. Still good unit. Um, still worthy of surprise to get for water. Other than that, we also have Lily. I've mentioned Lily already two times. This is like Athena. Strong, strong unit. I don't really have to go too in depth with her. Water attack up though. Very strong. Defense down. Stackable. Very good unit. With a very core unit for the last Guild Wars. So if you don't got her... Well, hey, maybe you want to get her. Other than that, um, I will throw in the Yoda early game thing. It's not nearly as important as it used to be, but it's still okay. Still okay. I wouldn't mention it nearly as much now, though. Uh, okay, so we're looking at Earth. Now, Earth is really weird, right? For Earth, oh, man. I can't give too much of an opinion on Val. He's a new unit, I believe, that was not in the last surprise ticket, but I just don't have him, so I really can't, I can't in good conscience recommend a unit that I have not used. I'm sorry. People may in the comments, if you guys want to give your opinions on Val, is he worth the surprise ticket? Go ahead. But I, myself, I just cannot recommend a unit I have no experience with. I just feel like that's ingenuine, you know? Especially if, uh, if I like. If it's a good unit, I, I just can't. I can't. Now, surprise ticket units. Mm. Earth is in the weird situation. <laughs> You're so based around the Katana team, man. I I just can't. I can't recommend Earth unit. I just, I'm just i looking at them just like... But would I run them? Not really. <laughs> Siegfried, for example, like he's not a bad option for people missing like Alex and their Katana team. Like, he, like he's not bad, but I don't know if I would recommend a surprise ticket for him. I, mm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't in good conscience recommend <laughs> Siegfried as a surprise ticket unit. Like, I just can't. Honestly, I'm sorry. Earth. God, you suck. <laughs> I got no, I got no words for this element. I'm sorry, guys. Let's, let's just forget Earth exists. <laughs> Make the GW character at that point. <laughs> or the Katana team. Uh, I'm sorry, Earth. I'm sorry, Earth. It's not, it's not that good. Your units are not that great. And oh God, we go to Wind. Oh no. Uh, okay, so Hellas is still a strong option for one turn setups or two turn setups. Still a good option um she does require a very fully completed grid though so you're not gonna be seeing a ton of damage without your grid completed all the way but still a very strong option with you know little guy little thighs too you know you may want to pick her she's cute okay. but she's still a strong option her skill two is really my fault skill three is I was thinking of the light one, but their skill three is still uh, overdrive assassin for the whole party, so will always be a valuable unit when it comes to bursting really fast. And I mean, a lot of this game now is about bursting, so very, very good. Other than that, mm, yeah. damn Korwa, why you suck? Uh, she was so good, and now she's so bad. <laughs> okay, here's another unit. Just like Bao, I cannot genuinely recommend a unit I have not used. I'm sorry, I don't got it. I don't have an account with her. I have two accounts, and I don't have her, one with her. So I just cannot recommend her when I don't have her. 
now you guys can give your opinions on her if you want to type up a little little story about how you feel about her and if you did surprise to her you know leave in the comments but i just can't recommend a unit that i have not used i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't want to give people false info if i haven't done it now we also have Urius. Fa high level. Just that's all I that's all I gotta say. Just fa high level. I've said it a million times. Like really good at his one job. So if you want to get Urius, always an option. Now with light. Light is a very weird element. Now this pick is actually a pick that you would not normally hear me me mention, but the pick that I also think is worth getting. Silva. You're probably wondering why. Is he really good? No, but he has a really good passive skill. <laughs> Bonus light damage to a foe upon chain burst extension. Extension is only accessible on a forward chain. And that alone makes her very good. Her, her uh, passive gives you about 900k extra damage after the end of a forward chain. This is very good for like one turning, a uh, two turning with like how long. Very good for people who are farming Anubis right now. I, I actually use her. I'll show you my, my light team I was using for Anubis. Um, so this was the light team I was using. So just to give you guys an idea of what I myself was using. So Silva does have value and I would recommend surprise getting her, especially if you're farming Anubis with your light team. If you're not using light, okay, you don't have to worry about her. But I would recommend if you want to have that extra damage output to get the MVP, I would recommend getting her. That'd be this is probably the only time I ever mention her, but I've never mentioned her before, and it's only for her passive skill. Other than that, um, Zoe, still the best light high level unit. Um, if you're doing high level Bahamut, I mean ultimate Bahamut high level, or if you're doing Fa, unit is a godsend. Her skill three is ridiculous. I've mentioned her twice already, so if you want to go look at a previous video on her, my opinions on her, um, very good unit though. So, other than that though, uh, whew, I don't really recommend anyone else. Fairy is an option, but I mean, if, if you are like, a person who can really utilize fairy you already have fairy so i don't want to recommend fairy like fairy is only for like the real end game i'm a try hard and you wouldn't be looking at this video if you're in that situation and now we had dark 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 now i have a character i can mention in full happiness vampy vampy's a great unit ah she's so good so good uh Massive skill damage, dispels, defense down, charm, delay. She got it all. She does it all. And she's cute. So, you know, no, I'm not going to jail. She's legal. Leave me alone. But she's cute. So, you know, Vampy is core. Vampy is core, guys. Man, saying that in 2019 is rough. <laughs> so I have a hard time saying that in 2019. Very strong unit, though. So don't feel bad if you want to get Vampy in 2019. Other than that, mm, Kalulu. This is a character I actually have on one of my accounts. So it's not on this account. Now my pick is on Kalulu. She's a strong unit, right? A, by herself, she's a strong unit. Um, her skill one is very good, especially in Fa. I think she does a ton of damage by herself. I don't know how well she works in the group comp though. I feel like her synergy right now is not that great in a team comp, but as a solo unit, she's a very strong unit. Now, if you're a guy who wants to still run a midi in 2019 on dark, um, you pretty much have to run this unit. So if you if you are in that situation where, you know what, you're like, oh man, I, I'm still relying on Zoe to get my damage to guys. I'm still relying on it. Well, if you're running Zoe, Kalulu, I recommend getting Kalulu. So that's my opinion on her. Um, so a good unit. Her skill one's amazing. She has a ton of damage between Tally Ho and her Ogi Tally Ho. It's, she does a ton. And I think she may be core 
when it comes to one turning in dark and then in the next upcoming guild wars with dark so it's, it's not coming next as next is fire but i do feel like a dark favorite gw is coming in the future so you may want to pick her up for ex plus so. uh other than that though i think that's about it for dark no one else really matters in dark that like that important so now here 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 here's my last pick luna Lu. now this is an arc room character you're only picking this character to make your arc room life a little bit easier other than that she's not useful but she's very good for arc room so if you are a guy who's about the quality of life and you're just about you know not putting in that much effort then luna Lu is your girl and i would recommend getting luna Lu. it's a surprise ticket if you're if you're tired of arc room you just oh man my Sarsa does not kill. Luna Lu is definitely your pick to go as with Luna Lu and Sarsa and the um here, I'll show you the comp that I use to give you guys a better idea. So this is the comp. There we go. So this is the comp for Arcarum. Now Mordred, you're probably wondering why Mordred is slot two. Um, if you didn't know, this character actually gives you a boost to skill damage specs, so, and when he's in slot two, so, you can't th keep that in mind that he does give a boost to skill damage specs, um, Luna Lu, Sarasa, and the Glorybringer, so, this is what you want to build if you want to make Arkham a little bit easier on yourself, so, I would recommend Luna Lu for people who are just focusing on Arkham, as I believe Arkham is the most important content right now in the game, at it's the only time gated content where you know your time actually matters you being diligent and doing it all the time so yeah if you if you struggling with Arcarum and you just find it to be really tedious you may want to invest in her um there's other setups in Arcarum like Chrysor is another setup you can run um I may if you guys want to hear on a video about how to make Arcarum easier just tell me and I'll try to get it done but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching if you have any questions i know just leave in the comments i consider doing a stream for doing this but um as well but i don't know it depends on how i feel like farming you may see a stream in the next couple of days though just look around i would schedule it i usually schedule a stream for a stream so maybe if you need help i may stream it and i may help individual people on it but we'll see how it goes Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.